everybody it took me way too long to figure out how to do this so i was just going to do a quick video to show anybody else who's trying to figure out how to have a drop down be open when you load the page um so what i have here is a drop down component that i've dragged in literally from uh, just the components tab here the only really real uh, styling i've done to it is i put it in this container that is um, 30 rems wide and on the drop down i set it to display block and i also set the toggle to display block uh, one other thing is that for the drop down instead of the list that comes with it i've just put in some text here so what i was trying to figure out and what i've done in tried to figure out in the past is when you have like multiple ones of these or you have an FAQ or something is how to make the first one open on default. Let's just do four to, to keep it simple. Um, one thing to consider here is that uh, these also, as they're set up now, this will cover them. So the first thing to do to remedy that is to uh, take a look at it first and for that list they are absolute by default but we're just going to make it static so that way when we open the one it um shows them here one other thing is i had originally set some borders to this but i don't think it needs them so yep that is how it goes so i'm going to hide that and what we want is for you know, the first one to be open on default. But if we publish this, we can't just like hit show here in the settings and have it show up on default. There's a little bit of finagling we'll need to do in JavaScript. So see here, if I publish it, they're all closed. Um, what we're gonna do is basically add a class to this first dropdown that when the page loads, it'll already have the class to open it. So how we're gonna do that is first by selecting that first dropdown. I'll just do it here in the navigator, um, or you can do it here. And going in and selecting the toggle. So the toggle is one of the things that needs this class. And so to target that first one, we'll give it an ID of uh, toggle one. And the other thing that gets a combo class is the list. So what is actually you know, coming down itself. And so I will put drop down list one. So with both of those targeted, we are going to move into our code. You shouldn't need to set an ID for this unless you want to. Um, I've also have this as a whole wrap. Um, so we'll need to keep the class name in mind for that because when we click out of this or click something else, we want to make sure that this um, drop down closes um, so that it won't be open the whole time. So with all that in mind, I'm going to hop into page settings, scroll on down to the body, zoom in so you can guys can see what I'm writing here. And we're just going to add some script in. So little scripty poo put in our script tag and so first things first is immediately when the page loads we want um the thing to be open on default so we will do some jquery to open it up so when the document is ready we're gonna do something So that's how we do that. When everything loads, first thing we want to target is that toggle. And we're going to add a class of w dash dash open. So that's the class that shows up when you are opening this here to find it. You can actually just inspect it. Um, open it up and you can see if I inspect this specific element, the thing that changes is that, um, whoa, let me show you. Uh, yeah, is that W open class. So that is what goes away and appears on the toggle in the list when it's opening and closing. So that's what we're going to add here. Um, 
And then we're also going to add that same class to the drop down list one. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to save that and make sure it goes through. And it did not. So what had happened is it just didn't save what my ID was. Sometimes if you don't click off of this, it doesn't save what you actually typed. I think that's the issue. Let's check now. Yay, okay, that's what it was. So now that that's working, we want that to close when we click any of these other things. We don't just want it to always be open. Um, so if I go into my Cody Poo here, is we're gonna add a little trigger function. So, oops. Let me grab the name. It was called drop down wrap. When I click on drop down wrap, so selecting that first on click, I want something to happen. And that thing is going to be. Both of these things but instead of adding a class we are going to remove oops didn't mean to do that in caps that let's see so now hey and that's how you do it so by default this one will be open the rest will be closed and when you click to a different one goes as normal. Um, but I hope that was helpful to some people. That took me a really long, an embarrassingly long time to figure out. So I, yeah, that's how it is. And th the end of the video. Hope this was helpful to somebody.